Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I love to bring you the best tips and tools to inspire you to create beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I am here with five Dollar Tree Farmhouse Americana DIYs. So with all that being said, let's get crafting. Now, if you are not ready or you don't decorate with Americana or patriotic DIYs, I hope you'll consider still watching and using some of the DIY ideas that I share for whatever theme or season you choose. For today's first DIY, we're going to make this home of the brave house using one of these house shapes from Target Dollar Spot, or you can use something similar from Dollar Tree, some Scrabble tiles, and one of these wood palettes from Dollar Tree as well. Now I'm just taking some masking tape and I'm just taping off the section that I'm eventually going to paint blue, and we're going to get the rest of this palette painted. Now I thought about doing red and white on these but I decided instead to paint all four pieces red and then you'll see we're going to add something else in for the white stripes on the flag in just a little bit. So I'm just taking my crimson Waverly chalk paint coloring or painting in those four pieces of the palette making sure I get in between all of the spaces as well as on the ends. Once that red chalk paint is dry, we'll move our masking tape and now we're going to paint that top left corner the blue color, which is Waverly chalk paint in the color Ocean. Once all of that paint is dry, I'm gonna use my little hand sander and just give a little bit of a distressed look around the edges of our palette, including each of the sections of the palette as well. Next, I'm going to glue five of these really small wood stars, I believe from Hobby Lobby, on top of the blue section of our flag. Next, taking this white house shape and some Scrabble tiles, I'm first starting at the top with the word home, placing down my two middle tiles, and then we'll build the word out from there. So the Scrabble tiles are going to spell home of the brave going down, and then we'll put the flag underneath the words. Now that our Scrabble tiles are all glued down, we will take a little bit more hot glue and glue down our little wood palette flag to the house shape as well. Now I mentioned that I wanted to add a little bit of white to the flag. So I'm taking some of this nautical, white cotton nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I untwisted it so that I just have one of the strands and I took a length that I'm gonna glue in between the two sections of the wood palette from Dollar Tree. So you can see I'm gonna have this long piece, I'm gonna have one more long piece above that, and then a shorter piece that will go next to our blue rectangle. Thank you. 
and the finishing touch for our house sign will be a messy bow. I'm using two of these patriotic ribbons that I believe were both from Hobby Lobby last year. So I have this white one with the blue and red stars, and then I have this burlap one that is navy with some natural colored stars. I really liked these. Take a piece of thin jute twine, bring it across the center, flip it over, and then tie a knot so that you can complete your messy bow. Once you have your messy bow how you like, you can just fluff it out and then glue that to the peak of your house. I'm also going to add a red star button to the center. If you're stopping by my channel for the first time today, welcome. I am so glad and honored that you are here. I sure hope you like what you see and you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. If you're one of my returning viewers or subscribers, thank you so much for coming back each and every week and for all of your support of my channel. For DIY number two, we're gonna make a really simple project with these six blocks and a small wood star. We're going to make them into a flag. So the top left cube, I'm just going to paint the front face of it with that same Waverly chalk paint in the color ocean. Then taking my other five blocks, I'm going to put a piece of masking tape across these three holding them together, but also giving me where my stripe's going to be. And then I'm going to do the same with the other two that will be next to the blue block. Now you could definitely make thinner stripes on your flag blocks, but I decided just on each block to make a red stripe and a white stripe. So underneath the masking tape, I'm just doing one coat of Waverly White chalk paint and then also painting the small little wood star again from Hobby Lobby. Now, once that white paint is dry, we will remove the masking tape and we'll move it so that we can then paint our red stripe on the top half of each of the blocks. Once the paint on our blocks is dry, I'm gonna take my little sander again, and I'm just going to sand a little bit around each of the four sides of the block, again, to give it a little bit more of a distressed farmhouse look. And our final step then will be to glue the little white star to the center of the blue cube. For DIY number three, we're going to use three of these wooden star wands from Dollar Tree, also the poster letters. I'm gonna use some scrap of paper and this recycled can. So I measured the height of the can and I'm gonna cut two strips of my scrap of paper at that height. I believe it was four and three eighths inches. And we're going to get this paper ready to Mod Podge onto our can. So taking our smaller piece that we needed to fill the gap, I'm putting some matte finish Mod Podge on and then pressing that down right onto our can, rubbing it down so that the Mod Podge will grab onto that paper. And then you can always take your brush and put some extra Mod Podge on to get it to stick especially on the edges to your can. Then I will end up doing Mod Podge over the entire piece of paper just to make sure it is stuck down all the way. Okay. 
while our can is drying, I'm gonna take my three star wands here. These again are from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take this flag paper, flip it over to the back and I'm just going to trace all three of my stars. We'll end up cutting out this star paper and Mod Podging it onto the front of the stars. Now before we Mod Podge on the scrapbook paper star, I am going to take Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I'm going to paint all the surfaces of the star wand except for the front star where we are going to Mod Podge the paper. So I'm painting the back side and the edges of the star and then also most of the wand. I'm not worrying about the very tip where I'm holding because that's going to be down into the floral foam anyway. Coming back to our can now, we're gonna put Mod Podge on the rest of the can. I did end up using a little too much. It's dripping all over my table, but we're gonna brush that on to get it as smooth as possible, and then attach that longer piece of scrapbook paper to go the rest of the way around our can. Now that our paint is dry on our star wands, I'm gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge on the unpainted side, spread that out evenly, and then we will attach down all three of the stars that we cut out from the flag scrapbook paper. You'll also see I am going to mist just a little bit of water on the back of the scrapbook paper. That's just gonna help it stick down really smoothly to the Mod Podge. Once that paper and Mod Podge are completely dry, I'm gonna take my little sander again, and this time in a downward motion, I'm cleaning up all the edges of the star. I did end up cutting the star just a slightly bit larger than what I had traced, so that we could make sure it completely covered the wood star, and then we clean it up using the sander. Next, I'm taking three of these poster letters from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna put the letters U, S, A on the center of each of my stars. And then to seal both our scrapbook paper and our sticker letters, we're gonna use a little bit more of the Mod Podge and brush a thin layer over the front of each of our stars. Then while those are drying, we're gonna take our can that we have the paper on, put some hot glue in the bottom and a chunk of floral foam from Dollar Tree. Then with a little bit more hot glue on top, we're gonna put in some of this brown crinkle uh, shredded paper. Um, you can use whatever color you'd want. I just wanted to keep this part a little more neutral, so I just went with the craft brown color. Now I'm gonna use this thin ribbon, I believe also from Hobby Lobby. It's navy blue with white stars. I'm just tying three little bows that I'm going to then glue to the base of the star on each of my three wands.
If you love budget home decor DIY videos like this, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as that lets YouTube know people are enjoying my content and then they will show it to more and more viewers. For DIY number four, we're going to make a patriotic beaded round using this 12 inch wood circle. Also these half inch wood half beads. Now, sometimes these wood rounds can be a little thin. So what I'm gonna do to make this a little more substantial is I'm going to take my wood glue and I'm going to glue two of these 12 inch circles together just to make it a little bit thicker and more sturdy. So once you get the wood glue in there and kind of massage the two circles together, I'm gonna use my clamps from Dollar Tree that I use all the time and we're gonna hold these together until they are nice and dry. Now, once those two pieces are secured to each other, I'm gonna take that blue Waverly chalk paint again in the color Ocean, and I'm going to paint the entire surface of my circle. Now, before I painted my circle, I had taken these half beads and decided how many I needed to go all the way around. And then I split that number in half. I'm putting now a piece of painter's tape sticky side up, and I'm gonna stick half of those beads to the sticky side of the tape so that I can paint them without them moving around. So this first half of the beads, I'm gonna paint with Waverly chalk paint in the color Crimson. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other half of the split beads, and these I'm going to paint with Waverly's chalk paint in white. Now while our beads are drying, I'm gonna come back to my blue wood circle, and I'm going to put a layer of matte finish Mod Podge over the paint to just kind of seal the round before we stencil on it. Next, I'm gonna take this reusable stencil from Magnolia Design Co, Land of the Free, Home of the Brave, and I have not used this one yet, so I'm peeling it very carefully off the backing sheet as it is quite sticky. Then I'm going to fuzz it a couple of times on my tacky towel just to get a little bit of fuzz or lint to the back of the stencil. Then I'm going to center it as best I can on my 12 inch circle. Once I have it where I want it, I'm gonna press it down really well to make sure we don't have any gaps and that everywhere you see green is secured down to the surface. Next, I'm just gonna take our chalk paste in white and also old glory red and fill in the mesh of this stencil and then you'll see the wonderful beautiful image that we get when we peel and reveal Once our stenciled image was dry, I took our red and white split beads and laid them out, got them spaced how I wanted them. Then I just took some wood glue and putting a dot on the back of each bead, went all the way around and glued those red and white beads all the way around our surface. I love how this turned out. Again, if you're not into the patriotic decor, you could use this round and the split beads idea for any season or holiday. 
If you are not already following my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page, I would love it if you would head over there and follow that page. I do go live there about three times a week doing different DIY projects than what I'm sharing here on YouTube. For our fifth and final DIY of this video, we're gonna make this distressed star sign using a wooden star from Dollar Tree, as well as one of the adhesive wall tiles. So you can see I'm just putting it on top and tracing around it with a Sharpie marker. Then we're going to cut out that star shape from our adhesive wall tile. Next, I'm gonna take that same blue Waverly chalk paint called Ocean, and I'm gonna give the front of my adhesive wall tile a really good coat of this, and then set it aside to dry completely. Now taking this piece of scrapbook paper that is red with white polka dots, I'm just trimming it down so that it will fit inside the little framed shiplap sign that I have. Fun fact, this scrapbook paper actually came in a Christmas pack of paper. So think outside the box if it's by itself, it just looks like it could be patriotic. So now that I have my paper cut the correct size, I'm taking again this board from uh, Target Dollar Spot, although you can find similar at Dollar Tree. I'm applying a thin layer of matte finish Mod Podge. Once we get that spread out as evenly as possible, we will spritz some water on the back of our paper that we cut and trimmed to fit perfectly inside this sign. We'll press it down and work it so that we get out any air bubbles. Then once that paper is dry, I am going to take one more layer of Mod Podge over the top of the scrapbook paper. This just gives us a nice uniform finish to it and we'll make sure that that scrapbook paper does not peel up. Now that our blue paint is dry on our star, I'm gonna take a chippy brush and some white chalk paint, and we're just going to give this star a distressed look with the white. I love this technique, and I love that you can do as much or as little of the white as you want. You can see as I go, I start with the smallest amount, and then I just, as I feel, add a little bit more white until I end up with the look that I want. Now, because the star is a little bit larger than the sign, I am going to glue two tumbling tower blocks to the center of my sign. This is going to keep our sign at the very front. We'll be able to glue it to the frame in those three places and to the tumbling tower blocks. And the last thing our sign needs is a bow. So besides a messy bow, the other kind I like to make are where I take just a loop of ribbon like this and tie it in the center with jute twine. Make sure the two ends of your ribbon are securely underneath that jute twine. Get that jute twine as close to the center as you can, and then you'll have a really cute little loopy bow simple um, look here that you can then glue to your project. So we're gonna add this little bow, we're gonna glue it right at the top of our star, and then we're also going to add a little red button as a finishing touch as well.
Thanks again so much for joining me today. Please let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite, and we'll see you next time. Take care.